Hi, I'm Stephen Koslin. I've done some research on mental imagery over the last few decades. And I must say that this project is one of the cleverest, most likely to produce solid theoretical results that I've ever seen. I was very excited about this project for a number of reasons. One of the main reasons was the team. Professor Green is exceptional, as are the three Minerva students that will be working on this project. I'm also a firm believer in authentic research lab experiences for all students who uh, want to become scientists. It's a great opportunity to uh, hands-on experience exactly how it is to be working at the very edge of discovery. Um, so I'm very excited to support that. I am Josh Vost. I'm the Associate Dean of Graduate Studies at Minerva Schools. Uh, I'm thrilled about this project. Uh, humans are very visual creatures and so uh, this whole investigation of understanding better how we visualize things, how our brains work to do that, uh, is tremendously important to us as a species and it has lots of practical applications. You can imagine legal implications, but just the science alone. These researchers want to make sure that their results are available to everyone on the planet regardless of their ability to pay. Thus, they need to pay up front because somebody has to. So it's very important that they be given the resources to be able to accomplish their goal. What they discover, they intend to publish in open access uh, mechanisms, which I also firmly believe in, that science uh, is a community effort and the more open and available research results are, the faster a field will move forward. One of the funding goals for this project is to secure funds for open access publishing. This is tremendously important. Um, increasingly, commercial publishers restrict the information that scientists uh, are able to share with the world. This slows down the pace of science. It slows down the pace of innovation. Um, and so the broadest possible audience for any scientific work is ideal. And the easiest way to do that these days is to make something freely available on the internet. And that's what this project aims to do. Uh, it's fascinating. I think it's terrific and definitely worth supporting. Come join me. 